In this video, I want to show you how to use some of the 3D tools and effects in Illustrator. In particular, I want to show you how to use the Revolve tool. So if you're not familiar with the Revolve tool, um, it's under Effect, under 3D, and Revolve. But before I get there, I want to actually create something, an object that I can use this effect or apply this effect on. So any of the drawing tools would work, the pen tool, the brush tool, probably even the blob brush tool. So I want to go ahead and select my pen tool. And I want to create the outline or contour of a vase. So I'm going to just draw the bottom and maybe click and drag and give a bit of a curve here. Curved contour to my vase. And once I get to about there, that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to control click off of that. I want to have this object selected, so I can want to click on it with the selection tool. And for best results, I would recommend having no fill but with a colored stroke. I would avoid applying a gradient to the stroke as well. I'll show you why in a few moments. So um, from here, I would go back to Effect, down to 3D, and Revolve. And before I get going with the editing here, I want to make sure the Preview button is clicked. And that gives you an idea of what kind of effects you're going to get. Now, just to kind of explore this panel, um, you can click and drag on this cube to change the angle of your rendered 3D object. So by default, it's just pretty much going to show up right from the a kind of frontal angle here from the side. So you really shouldn't have to hit too much uh, the position there if you're happy with the results that you get. Um, by default, you get good results if you just stick to that. But just to show you how that operates, um, clicking and dragging on the face of this 3D cube changes the position of my 3D rendered object. I could also get in here and change the values numerically as well. Now, a couple other options. I would leave pretty much the offset alone, and um, we want it from the left edge. Just to show you, if I click it on the right edge, that's going to give me some very dramatically different results. But essentially, it's modeling the form um, to the right of that contour, as you can see, that line that I've created. So for the most part, the way I drew that line, I wanted to keep it um, revolving from that left edge. And as far as surface, you have a few options here. Wireframe, no shading diffuse shading, and plastic shading. Now for a ceramic piece, if you wanted to show a shiny type of glaze on the form, I'd probably go with plastic shading. If you wanted more of a matte look, less of a shiny surface, you could use the diffuse shading as well. So again, I'll just keep it at plastic shading for the surface. And from there, I can just click OK, and I have my 3D rendered vase. And that's how you would use the Revolve tool to create the outline of a vase in this case.